Hello my friends, as you can see, we now have one of the newest systems created, Windows 7. Uh, if you're wondering, no I did not pay for Windows 7, I was just downloading VLC Media Player Finish. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to download Windows 7, hang on one second, Privacy and Network Access Policy. No, I don't want these bastards connecting to the internet. Regularly check for updates. No. Never update anything. Alright. I'm about to show you guys how to get Windows 7. Just give me one second. I need to make sure this thing's not connecting to the internet. Save recently played items. No. Whenever you download stuff, make sure you go in and you know tell it not to do certain stuff when you download programs they try and save all your information alright um, today I'm going to show you how to get a free copy of Windows 7 now as you can see here when you go to control panel uh, right here it's going to tell you that Windows is not activated and that you're going to need a product key now it took me about two days to get this product key but uh... Um, uh... i will show you how to get a product key so first of all i want to show you how to download it and i want to show you a good program where you can make a bootable usb flash drive that way you don't have to burn this, this system to a recordable dvd which of course if you have a dvd burner you can do that but my computer's a little old fashioned. It'll read a DVD, but it won't burn a DVD. So, alright, let's get started here. First of all, of course, go to Google. Google owns the internet. Uh, type in free Windows 7 ISO download. At least that's what I typed in. Now, I have Windows 7 Professional. trying to find the one that I found it's here somewhere this one might be it here I'll let you know in a second if that's the page as you see everything here is different now though uh, I got Google toolbar I changed all the colors around in a way I like them I don't like all that new look I change it to the classic look and then after that I adjust all the colors and personalization alright hello friends today I'm going to share Windows 7 ultimate efficient link blah 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 alright that's Windows 7 ultimate let me see if you can really download it I'm not going to say this is the website unless I know for a fact that it's, that it's it let's try 32-bit ISO image if this works alright alright disk file image that's a dot ISO file save I'm, as a matter of fact I'm gonna put this website here in the link this link right here so I'm gonna put the web uh, link to this website and then I'm going to put a link directly to what I just clicked on right here. I'm going to put a link directly to that too. Inside of the, the link to the video. Let me do that now. So I don't forget. Because there, I'm going to put a couple other websites here for you guys to download stuff. Damn it, dude, I got Windows 7 and it still tells me I'm using an older version of Internet Explorer that will soon stop supporting. Bullshit, dude. Why do they always gotta stop supporting stuff? Internet Explorer 8 is new. It just came out like a year ago, yet they're already ending support for it. Microsoft, man, those yuppies, they get on my nerves. Like, they just want to constantly make more money. 
by disabling our product keys and making shit where, we're, where it's outdated and where we can't use it anymore. It gets on my nerves. Damn, dude, they're already phasing out Windows Vista. Hang on a minute. Got a sign in here. Fuck's my password. I don't even know. Do you want Internet Explorer to remember this password? Don't offer to remember any more passwords. Well, maybe I should hit yes. Damn it. Your password was changed seven months ago. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, and of course, it tells me update your browser. Alright, I'm going to put these links in the description so you guys can, uh, you guys can download your uh, free copy of Windows 7 and then I'm going to help you out with the product key. Uh, product keys where I had my trouble. I had to enter about 35 or 40 different product keys in before I got one that worked. Because those yuppie dudes at Microsoft, as soon as they find out that there's free product keys out there, they want to go and block them where you can't activate your, your system. Back in the day, you didn't have to verify your stuff with Microsoft. Back in the day, if the product key matched one of the keys that were in the database on the disk, right away it worked. Now you type in a product key and it has to verify it through the internet, which is retarded. But anyway, select files to upload. No, I'm not uploading anything yet. Shit, I can't even type in my stuff without without a file. All right, I'll just do it after I'm done. Uh, this link right here is going to be in the description. Now let me go to Google here, find you some product keys. I don't know if I'm going to uh, find any websites right off the top of my hand. Uh, that What system is that? Windows 7 Ultimate. Ah, see that's different. Mine is professional. This is a different website than I got my system from. Uh, let me make sure. Does it tell you? Windows 7 Professional. Okay. Alright, uh, Windows 7 Ultimate might be a little easier to find product keys for. Uh, right here is Windows 7 Ultimate. Now I'm going to go just for the heck of it and look for Windows 7. Uh, maybe this one right here will give you a free copy too. I don't know, let's check. Windows 7 ISO download. Yeah, whenever you download Windows 7, you got to make sure you have the ISO image. Receive all tech updates. Fuck tech updates. I don't update anything. These idiots, man. Sorry about that. I'm so sick of hearing that damn word, update. I don't update anything. Uh, if you want to install it on your computer but you don't have a copy, you can go for an ISO download. No oh, shit. Alright. Go down. Driver errors. Uh oh. Possible errors in installation Windows 7 on your computer. Well, there's updates for that. I don't usually do any updates, but if something's screwed up, I will. Alright, here we go. Here's another website that offers uh, Windows 7. Now this is Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit English. Click that, see if that works. All right, 2.38 gigabytes. This is a working link. Now right here is Windows 7 Professional. Uh, let me see if that link works. 2.38 gigabytes, it's an uh, .iso. Okay, so these are working links right here. I'm going to copy this link up here and I'm going to put that in the description as well. Now your product keys, however, let me see, Windows 7 product keys. 
mean, it really, this stuff is simple. You can do all this yourself, but uh, I'm just going to help you guys out and find a couple links to get you started. Uh, Windows 7 Ultimate Product Key Gen. Them key generators don't work. I downloaded three of them. Uh, solved. Get working Windows 7 Ultimate Product. Here, let me try this one. High speed internet. That would have took 20 minutes on dial up. Well, that's and another thing. Uh, Windows 7 is supposed to be better, but yet Windows 7 doesn't come with dial up modem drivers. Like my dial up modem, it told me when I first turned this on this morning that I was missing drivers for my Ethernet driver and dial up. So Windows 7 only comes with wireless network drivers so basically Windows 7 you cannot plug your computer into the wall or to a router at least from my understanding I, I'm not used to this new shit I thought that it should come with everything but uh... hang on I'll show you go to computer right click click manage And it, uh, it said that I needed a driver for my dial-up modem. And it said I needed a driver for my Ethernet uh, uh, adapter. Alright, device manager. Network adapters. Oh, all right. So Broadcom gigabyte adapter that works, and the wireless works. Now modems. It said I didn't have a modem driver this morning. Now it says this device is working properly. Is it really? Hang on a minute. I'm just going to test something real quick. I hope I'm not wasting your guys' time, but I want to know right off the bat if I can still use my damn dial-up. They've been trying to phase out dial-up for years. You buy a new computer at the store for a thousand bucks and they don't even give you a damn modem. Tell me what kind of sense that makes, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you go to the store, you spend all that money, and they don't give you a floppy drive, they don't give you a friggin' modem. I mean, what the hell, dude? Half the time you don't even get a, a CD drive anymore. Don't ever buy a new computer. Take my advice. Go to the flea market and get your shit used. Alright, hang on a minute. How do I disconnect? Click? Disconnect. Alright, I need to make sure that my dial-up's working. And that's another thing. I'm going to make a video after this showing you how to uh, get free dial-up. As a matter of fact, I gotta get the numbers off the internet. I gotta make a new dial up connection anyway. I'm gonna do all that later. For right now, let me show you how to get product key. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Just bear with me here. Here is some product keys here. Um, Alright, I'll add this link to the box too. I don't know if these product keys here work. Do not hold me to this. These are some product keys. It says below are Windows 7 Ultimate Product Keys for 32-bit system, which is what I got. Now, if you scroll down, there might be more. Or no, all right, this woman says, didn't work for me. Try this. All right, so if you guys want to check out this website, uh, you guys might be in luck with your product keys here. You go down, it says, hello, guys, I have a question. I did try this, but I get some errors. Uh, all right this still works all right apparently apparently this still works you know let me copy that let me copy that to notepad
gonna copy these and just paste them into the description so you guys you know even if they don't work for you at least you got some to try right off the bat now this is Windows 7 Ultimate let me just copy that I'll paste that in the description for you guys uh, gotta say though there's a lot of things about Windows 7 that I don't like they took away your dial-up manager they took away um, you know how on a taskbar here I don't like the, this new design it's just me personally I don't like the new design I like Windows Vista a hell of a lot better uh, but anyway you know there I still have Windows Vista on this hard drive but listen you shake the hard drive and uh, I'm starting to hear the rattle noise it's it still works hard drive still works the only thing is it's got a lot of miles on it uh, Windows 7 32 bit right here's another product key I'll copy that uh, this hard drive I'm using I took out of a PlayStation 3 that I found in the trash the PlayStation 3 didn't work but the hard drive was still good so I said you know what S40 gig hard drive right there pop that in the computer install the, the uh, Windows 7 machine and uh, machine the Windows 7 system and it works I'm gonna copy all these wait Windows XP Pro wait a minute, I'm not copying Windows XP keys am I hang on a minute I might be screwing up here uh, no Windows 7 okay alright guys I'm gonna end this video because uh, this is going to take a little while for me to upload. And after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, I'm going to put up a video on how to get free dial up access. As long as you have a phone line and you have a computer with a dial up modem, you can get free internet anywhere there's a phone line. A and you have to have long distance. Because a lot of the dial up servers are different places in the country, they're going to be out of your area code. Uh, Alright guys, I hope you learned something. I'm going to make sure that all these links here uh, for, the, for Windows 7 Ultimate and Professional here are in the description box. And uh, if you guys want to find them on your own, this is what I typed into Google. Free Windows 7 ISO download. If you download Windows 7, make sure that you're getting the ISO image. Oh, 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 and one other thing. So you guys can make a bootable copy of Windows on a flash drive. Download a program called Rufus. R-U-F-U-S. Enter. It's free. You don't have to worry about it. It's a free program. Rufus. Create bootable USB drives the easy way. It is an easy utility. Utility, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. It's easy to use. Uh... Create bootable USB drives the easy way. Alright, how the hell do you download it? As a very satisfied VPS customer, the author of this activation recommends that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever you do, don't click over here. That's not to download this, that's to download something else. Rufus, 616 kilobytes. And that says download. Click on that. Alright, so that's the link to Rufus right there. I will put that in the description too. Alright guys, I hope you learned something. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to make sure these uh, product keys here are in the video. Uh, if you guys got any questions, just write me a message. Just write me a message. I'm always checking them. I'm always around. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys around. Peace.